Let me tell you how your faith will die, how your church will die. Keep it to yourself. Be a Christian country club. It's just us only. Let me tell you how your church will thrive. Kick people out. Push them out. Say go do something. Challenge people to go use their gift, discover their gift, discover what God's called them to do. Stop holding on to ideas and say, I want to unleash the people. I want to identify the pain in my community, and I'm going to push people out, and I'm not going to stop preaching. I know all y'all are pastors, but I'm not going to stop praying for my community. I'm not going to stop walking my community. I'm not going to stop asking my community until my community is saved. That's how your church will grow. But if you say, we're just going to play the game. We're going to keep to ourselves. We're going to ignore the cries of our broken world. Oh, God help the church. And all of you and I know that is the norm. It's us. Let's get everybody to come to us. And they're out there crying. And the devil's standing in front of all these places in your community saying, keep doing what you're doing. That's why churches are closing down every day. God's saying, I ain't going to help you. And here's what Nebuchadnezzar said. You don't do what I tell you, I'm going to kill you. All, often we're praying for God to bless us, bless us, bless us. God's saying, when you do what I want you to do, I'm going to bless you. But stop asking me to bless your plans until you want to do my plan. Let's all pray.